Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. This is Umar with you. Hope you are all doing great. So it's been a very, very long time. I didn't post any video. In fact, last one month, I didn't post any video. The reason being is, you know how expiry day trades are working. It is very, very hard and it is exhausting, right? And in fact, this month was a really good for a month for us. Uh, but we made a very, very big mistake, which I will explain in this video. We made a loss of around 3,75,000 in one day which was on may 27th we did it on mid cap expiry now i'm not going to say that the market was too volatile it was moving two way three way move that is uh, we are not going to talk about that but i would say it is purely our mistake or i would say it was our execution error so end of the day we are ha we are still in the profit and if you see year to year to year uh, we are year on year uh, we started on uh, august month till now we have have achieved 80% ROI we'll talk about that briefly bit but before that I would like to tell you about uh, uh, one uh, thing that is Bharat option traders uh, submit Chennai which is going to take place on 30th June which is going to be a Sunday so lots of speakers are uh, uh, coming to this event uh, many key high high profile speakers are coming to this event I am also a part of uh, uh, part of uh, panel discussion so you can join this uh, meet lots of people they are going to talk about strategies they are going to talk about expiry day trades they are going to talk about different kind of things uh, which is uh, which is going to happen on uh, 30th june which is going to happen on 30th june 2024 it is going to happen at anna centenary auditorium uh, Kotur Puram Chennai right so if you are around Chennai not only in Chennai if you are around somewhere even in Bangalore or even in Hyderabad uh, you can join this uh, submit so more than 2000 people are participating in the summit so you will get an insight you will get a link you will see you will get to see a lot of familiar faces in this fraternity when it comes to trading options or when it comes to investing so make sure you join this or uh, see if you can join the submit i will leave the link in the description below uh, you can click that link and of course you can join or you can make the payment it's just 1500 rupees right so coming back to our pnl so we made a total profit of uh, let me tell you if this uh, 3 lakh 75 thousand was not made the loss of 3 lakh 57 thousand was not made we were sitting in a profit of around if you see here we were sitting in a profit of around 5 lakh 18 thousand uh, 451 so this 3 lakh 75 thousand then 67,000 then last day of uh, uh, May expiry May series 36,586 so total we made a profit of around 2,15,000 out of that 1,40,842 is alone gone for brokerage right so you can see how much orders we have punched right and uh, total after detecting all the charges 74,329 of course is 1,40,000 more than 1,40,000 will come to me only and uh, let me go, take you to my broker screen so that you can have a idea of how much or what we have made right so let's go to Zibo now uh, if yeah uh, let's let's go to zibo yeah this is the zibo and this is my account my personal account and let me refresh this uh, personal account so you can see we made a profit of yeah we made a profit of around 54594 and if i go to the last page you can see all the charges so whatever charges we have made is mentioned here so this is one of the account so keep this in mind 54000 and let me go to one more account uh, one more account which is in yeah uh, which is also my account which is one of my family members account we made a total profit of 44,925.6 right so total charges alone uh, we have paid so much IGST stamp duty uh, brokerage charges so on and so forth so if you make the if you do the calculation if you do the math you can see how much we have made you can see in this excel sheet that how much we have made here so detecting all the charges and uh, I would say uh, this is not a big deal uh, right uh, in spite of having a capital of around uh, average capital of around 40 lakhs 
this uh, 2,15,000 is not a big deal. Uh, there are people who make uh, more than what we make, but this was a blunder. This was a big mistake on 27th, uh, sorry, yeah, 27th of June. If it was not here, uh, we would have been in good profit. And of course, if we are making profits every day, then we will forget many things, right? If we are not having problems, uh, we will not, I would, I would not be here in front of you. I would not be here in front of you talking, right? So this problem, this, uh, this execution error, this uh, loss uh, taught us something that we uh, have, uh, uh, you know, we have uh, uh, rearranged or we have uh, changed the system or we have changed how we execute the orders. So going forward, we might not see uh, this uh, huge losses, maybe 7.93% or let's say 2.42%. So we are not going to see uh, more than losses of more than 2.52% in a single trading session. So 7% is really huge. Someone, in fact, if you add all the charges, it is around more than 8.2%. That is really huge, right? So in a single day, losing 8% is really, really huge. And I, I say it again, it is not a market or it is not market volatility. It is purely execution error. We had made some execution errors and then all these days. And you know, volatility is all uh, is, is almost high, right? It touched almost 25. Now exit polls are out and uh, exit polls are in favor of BJP. And uh, I expected this also, you know, India Alliance is not going to win. I have no political inclination to any parties, but still I believe we need a firm le leadership market participants, whether it is FIAs, uh, DIAs or HNIs or institutions, they need a firm leadership and that leadership can be given only by BJP. India Alliance is not going to give a firm leadership. Uh, so that's why we as a, uh, as a participant, market participant, I expect BJP to come. I'm not uh, into what they have done, what they have not done, what India Alliance is going to do, what Congress is going to do, what DMK is going to do, what they have done, what they have not done. I really don't know anything about that. All I care is we need a firm leadership at the top level as an investor, as a trader, as an FNO trader so that uh, markets are stable. So markets expect stable stability, right? A market uh, requires a stable, uh, stable government at the top so that markets don't fluctuate or market uh, don't make uh, high volatile moves that is what we want that we are talking i am talking in that perspective only so we'll see how things pan out so next month we will see what we can do a uh, lot uh, last but not least uh, make sure you can you are uh, part of this uh, option traders uh, bharat option traders submit chennai 2024 uh, lots of speakers high profile speakers uh, high talent good talent peoples are coming into this uh, uh, forum so you can have connection you can get uh, links you can get uh, good uh, connections in this forum i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in tomorrow's video we will try to post video on a daily basis thank you for watching take care bye